we will be able to get a pretty good look at a cosmic event. On April 8th, the moon will be blocking out the sun to create a solar eclipse. And while the path for a total eclipse is south of Iowa, people can still enjoy the experience here. KCRG tv 9s Becky Phelps joins us live in the studio after talking to a University of Iowa expert about what eastern Iowa can expect. The partial eclipse that will hit Eastern Iowa will create, create some interesting effects, but experts say if you are planning to enjoy the eclipse, you need to do it safely. Dr. Caroline Roberts with the University of Iowa Department of Physics and Astronomy says, well, a solar eclipse isn't exactly rare. It's only really about two times a year that the shadow of the moon falls on the Earth, and we can see that the moon is blocking the sun in the sky. Your chance of seeing one is. What's really cool about this one is it's going to cross across the entire United States, basically. It's not just clipping off a little corner of it. Um, there's going to be, you know, dozens of large cities in the path of this total solar eclipse. Iowa isn't in the path for a total eclipse, but eastern Iowans can still see a significant partial eclipse from around 1230 to 3 in the afternoon. It will be important to have the proper equipment on hand, like solar eclipse glasses. Check out online um, how to create a pinhole camera or use a colander for your own pinhole camera. Um, so you know any welders for a welder's helmet. The UI Physics and Astronomy Department is hosting a free viewing event on campus for the eclipse. They'll have free protective eyewear and solar telescopes to help people get a good look. One thing I'm really excited for with the partial eclipse is just to kind of look all around me at the images created of the sun by tree leaves and checking out those, those little crescent shadows. Using this phenomenon to foster connection in their community. You feel so close to the people around you, the people that you're with. We hope people will feel that on the Pentecost and the Sciences Library courtyard. You know, just um, how miraculous this is happening. Um, how wonderful it is to be together and experience it. For more information on the solar eclipse, check out the KCRG TV9 First Alert weather app. Our meteorologists have more details there on how to see the eclipse safely and what to expect. In the studio, Becky Phelps, KCRG TV9 News. Now.